Did you know that we're only aware of about 10% of our brain activity? Scientists at this lab in Barcelona are working to increase that percentage for a reason. And the reason is to enable us to perform better in a world which is increasingly overwhelmed by data. Collecting data is easy. The difficult part is making sense of it. But drowning in floods of data, humans often can't find meaning in complex databases. So these researchers are working with sophisticated virtual reality tools to help. What the science shows is that a lot of that background processing that we're not paying attention to uh, can leak useful information about the environment. So it can identify where there are areas of interest, for example, or where there are threats, or where there's um, potentially something exciting that you haven't spotted. Like you can use touch and vision and hearing to sense an environment and to make sense of the world, uh, what we're doing is trying to make the subconscious processing that humans have an additional sense that gives people extra power, extra ability to understand meaning in big data sets. Scientists at this European Union research project hope to help us become smarter and more efficient by listening to and stimulating our subconscious so it can mobilise the power of our own creativity. And to do that, they're using complex technology. We are integrating virtual reality and mixed reality platforms to allow us to screen information in an immersive way. We also have systems to help us extract information from these platforms. We use tracking systems to understand how a person moves within a given space. We also have various different physiological sensors, the heart rate, the breathing, etc., that capture signals produced by the user, both conscious and subconscious. Our main challenge is how to integrate all this information coherently. The system allows us to upgrade subconscious processes to make them conscious. This can help us assimilate information in complex databases, information that would be impossible to decipher without that extra help. But as two brains are better than just one, researchers have asked a robot to lend a helping hand. So let's try one more time. Okay. One more Okay. Really? Yes. I go. Okay. Yeah. I have it. The brain is not a computer just controlling an external device. The brain is tightly coupled to the body. And these are mutually constraining what they do. So therefore to understand the brain, we have to put it in the context of a body. And an example of such a body stands here behind me. Let's try something new. So to understand that brain, we need to embody it in that robot. And that's what we're now bringing together as a next step in this exploration of how the brain works in the end to understand the physical foundations of consciousness. It's a step forwards in the research for a new scientific instrument to help us make sense of big data. I feel musical symbiosis. Thank you.